People from around the world joined together today to mourn the loss of a fallen Cincinnati firefighter. And good afternoon. Today we pause to remember and pay tribute to fire apparatus operator Daryl Gordon. The 54-year-old died last Thursday during a fire at the King Towers Apartments in Madisonville. The veteran firefighter was searching for people inside when he fell down an elevator shaft. And today, Gordon will be laid to rest. Hundreds of people turned out to line the streets of downtown Cincinnati to honor Gordon's life of service. And Local 12's Rob Braun was joined today by Gordon's colleague and friend, Cincinnati Fire Captain Maurice Vassar. They joined us again to talk more about today's service. Rob? John, thanks very much. Uh, Captain, thanks very much for being with us today. Yeah, uh, things uh, are going about the way you expected. I know this is an emotional day for you as a friend of the firefighter, Gordon. Things are going very smoothly. As you can imagine, with this many moving pieces, firefighters from other localities, our entire fire force in one spot and moving Daryl's body on engine 14, there's a, there was a lot to do and uh, I was proud to see how smoothly it went. And that's what we're going to show you first. These are pictures uh, as the, the engine comes out of, I think that's central there, turning right on uh, sixth, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. But the firefighter's body was carried in engine 14. That's the truck that he spent most of his life working, uh, and that's his gear on the front and his wife behind. Yes, uh, he spent somewhere around 25 years in that house. And so it was fitting that that apparatus would take him to uh, his final resting. And it was planned that way. The driver of that uh, truck spent a lot of time driving Daryl. The people walking next to engine 14 in that photo um, are uh, the, the members of Engine 14, the firefighters that were working with him, uh, some of them for years and years, um, and the pallbearers, uh, members that uh, graduated from fire school with Daryl and also worked with him. You know, we talked about how Daryl is uh, such a bright, um, wonderful person to be around because of his exuberance and everything he was doing. I'm not so sure today, because it is so solemn, is something that he would particularly like because you, he, he likes to be happy all the time. Yes, he was a very positive, upbeat person. Yeah. So he's a stand-up guy, but he was just, and he wasn't above mischief, you know, uh, yeah. around the firehouse, wasn't it? And the chief mentioned that in the, in, in the eulogy. And, and he was, he was, he was playful. He, was, uh, he had a lot of friends, as I think we can all see now, and you need people like that in the firehouse to sometimes lighten the mood, but yet keep everybody on target. Don't forget our mission, and he was always the first one to go. This is a live picture, and you recognize this firehouse better than anyone, but um, Oscar Armstrong was a firefighter, the last firefighter lost by the city of Cincinnati. Yes. Uh, and they are, I think, I'm not sure if the truck has, or the engine has been here yet or they're waiting on its arrival. But uh, this, is, this is the route that the engine will take on the way to the cemetery. Not, yeah. The truck has not been by yet, I've been told. It, right, it looks like they're, they're waiting. So it'll drive past there and on, onward to uh, engine two. So that's a, uh, right there is a heavy rescue unit. Uh, Rescue, Heavy Rescue 9, that's stationed there at Engine 9, which is one of our newer firehouses. So the uh, Engine 14 carrying the body of Firefighter Gordon is on its way to the cemetery. We're going to send you back to John for the news of the day, and we'll be back uh, shortly when the um, Engine 14 gets to the cemetery. We're going to take you there live and show you everything that happens. John, back to you. All right.